Hey everybody, this is Matthew Reale here from Aqua Reale. I am standing in front of one of the ponds we did last season uh, for our customer here. This was a bigger than normal system we usually do. It's about an 11 by 20 to 22 pond, has a small stream, has a wetland filter. This end over here, skimmer. It's the largest skimmer we can get, two pumps in it. It's a two pump system we call it. One pump operates this wetland over here, 3,000 gallons an hour flow, so it's a nice low flow through the filter. The other one's a 3,000 gallon hour pump that feeds this little spitter guy. And down here is a bottom circulator. What a bottom circulator does is it moves all that water from 36 inches down and pushes it up into the system, mixes, sucks it in through the skimmer. You tend to get better clarity and better quality because you don't have all that bottom water just sitting there. It's being moved up into the system. The fountain element is part of the circulator. It was a customer's idea. She had it. So we put in a bypass and add this in. Fish love circulation. They love turbulence, turbulence. Anywhere there's mo movement, they love turbulence. Another thing you can see about this pond, plants. We put a lot of plants in, but the customer had her own personal touch to it. The large elephant's ears in the pots, the floating islands, all this adds to, as we like to call it, biofiltration. It's a great part of the pond is biofiltration. You get that a lot with your plant material and your rock and gravel. As you can see, she has a lot of fish, all the koi here are 12 inches and less. They do a great job in eating some of the little bits of algae, in particular on the rocks. Plus, they're pretty, they're great to look at. Our wetland over here, and it's hard to see, but when we were designing this pond, two things, there was, there was one other thing besides, you know, beauty and the pond to think about where she's got two little French bulldogs. And they love getting in the water. Number one is we created a little beach island over here, which is about four inches deep where the dogs can run around in. And over here, we created this little, kind of like it's a little pathway in and out because the dogs love climbing in and sitting in these shallow sections. So we had the animals in mind while we were designing this pond. 18 inch deep section here, 36 inch each deep section down there. So it has all types of zonation, different plants for different depths, and all in all, it's got good flow. Most of the flow is up in this end and it's all pushing towards that skimmer. Skimmer's big enough where it's gonna collect a lot of leaves. When a customer goes away on vacation or vacates for a few weeks, these larger skimmers can handle more debris and sometimes easier to clean out down the road because the baskets are much bigger and they hold a lot more volume and material. If you got the space in your yard, bigger ponds are easier to care for. They tend to go out of balance less with rainstorms and different conditions. They, ba they balance faster and you can do a lot more with it. You can do a lot more larger plant, larger plant colonies. You can get more fish. It all makes for a nice pond system. This pond also has lights. We got about a half dozen to I believe eight or nine lights in here. It's a photo cell system, so at night they go on, they go off at daylight, but it brings the pond to life at night, which a lot of times come the fall, it's dark by four or five o'clock, you can't enjoy your water feature coming for work. Lights brings a whole nother element. Plus you can watch the fish nibble on the ends, eat on the corners. They do all kinds of different things at night than they would do during the day. This is our premium pond package. This pond is a $60,000 install, 11 by 20, wetland filter, largest skimmer with two pumps for the double types of filtration, all together to give you a really good end result. This pond is a decent size. Customer has about an acre of land here and access, access was very easy. $60,000 price tag would be more if you had worse location, more of a distance off the driveway. We're about 30 feet off the driveway, so the access was, the access was great. That also made it easier to get the job completed and done. This is probably a week and a half long project. Now I say week and a half long, that's, that's working every day, good conditions, you know, no rain coming in there. So it could easily expand to two weeks with a little bit of rain and just some delays. As you're seeing, it's a, this was a complete project. When we were finished, the yard was a mess. We ended up coming in and putting sod down. So that way, like I said, she had dogs and the dogs are out here all the time. The mud going out of the house wasn't a good thing. So we wanted to make sure when we were done this project, it was a completed element. So we were done, we sodded everything and graded it off so that way the customer could come out when we were finished and basically be able to walk out without bringing mud back in the house. So those are all pieces we took into consideration when we were doing the job as well. You know, it's how far from the, from, from, you know, what's your access like? How far from a driveway or a street is it? Are there animals involved? What are the people gonna be using it for? All those come into the play when we come up with these numbers in the end for a customer. 60,000 was for this project. If access wasn't good here, it could have been another 20% on top of that if, if, you know, if access was, was terrible here and there. So 
those are things we take in consideration when we are doing a project in a backyard. So what comes up a lot of times when we get asked a question of a pond is how much maintenance I have to do. Usually, as you can see, is in this video, you see things blowing around here and there. Things are gonna fall in. The idea of a skimmer is material gets thrown into the skimmer. I always recommend checking a skimmer once a week during the season. Middle of summer, you may have to check it maybe once a month. And it also depends on the size of your skimmer. She does have a big skimmer. She probably could go a month without checking it and it would still operate fine. Also, you're gonna get bouts of a little bit of string algae and hair algae here and there. They're gonna need to be taken care of. That may involve, you know, an hour once a week pulling. Once your pond is dialed in and once it's seasoned, those problems will become less and less. This pond is not even a year old yet, so she's still going through the process of it becoming seasoned. But as of right now, I'd say you're gonna spend at least one day a week cleaning your skimmer out, one or two times a month just cleaning out little bits of algae and floating debris here and there. And then at the end of the season, you'll have a netting service, which is we put a net on the pond to keep the leaves from, from filling in the pond. And then come spring, we do a drain and clean. With contained ponds, a drain and clean is necessary. It gets all the gunk build up on the bottom. We get to clean the filters out more in depth than just you washing off a pad. That way it keeps your pond looking good for seasons to come. We do provide maintenance. We provide anywhere from we call an essentials package, which is a spring, summer, and fall service, to a once a month, to a twice a month, which is our platinum service. We come out twice a month, clean filters, trim plants, make sure your, we call it, making sure your pond looks party ready at all times.